This video follows the video how to turn CSV strings into data. It shows how to treat CSV strings that include double quotes in them. Here's an example. First we find the quotes. A quote here is this symbol here. This is a it looks like a double quote, but it is a quote as far as we're concerned. Let's display what the quotes are. Now we're going to need to do this often, so let's write ourselves a little function to do this. The function will accept any number of booleans as argument. If the argument is not nested, we'll nest it, ravel, mix them to get a matrix, and append to the bottom of text. Let's try it. That's better. Okay, next we find the last quote of each group of quotes and the text to keep. Let's see. Yep. Here are the last quotes and the ones we want to keep. It looks better already. Now, this is fine for double quotes, but what if we have double double quotes, as in this? Here we have fur, which is surrounded by double quotes. That's fine, or so we think. But what if we have a string like the one at the bottom right there, which is actually a pair of quotes, which have to be doubled and surrounded by quotes to denote their presence? Let's have a look at this problem. Here is a new string with double quotes in it. This is really a pair of strings. The first one contains two quotes, which have been doubled and surrounded by quotes, and the second one is the letter A, followed by a quote, followed by B, followed by two quotes, and followed by C. So again, we find the quotes, we show them, and we need to account for these double quotes. The way we are doing it now, we are only removing the last quote. This is wrong. Our friend difference can will come in handy again. What we need to do now is to keep the quotes that are only within double scan. This will give us the odd quote in every group. And then we keep only the ones that are not these. But this is wrong again because we are still seeing the last quote in each element. We need to remove it. What we really want to keep is everything but the odd quote and the last quote. That's better. This is exactly what we need. Let's wrap the whole thing into a function. Just like before, we create a carriage return and append it to the beginning of our string. We count the number of lines, we find where the quotes are, we find where the double quotes are, we find the last of each group of quotes, and we keep all but those. No double quotes, no last quote. Finally, we find the mask just like we did before. We find the cutting vector using the mask, and now we remove those extra double quotes there. We only keep the ones that we want, both for the cutting vector and for the text. And finally, we cut, removing the comma, reshape, and that's it. So if we try it, it works. We can see that fur has gotten its proper double quotes in there. And that the last element, the bottom right element of the matrix, is properly formatted. Now, for those that uh, like defens, here's a condensed version without the comments. It's the same thing, except that it's a little bit shorter. Enjoy!